<sighs> okay, so this is how this video is going to go. I want to start it off with a Q&A which I uh, sent out on Facebook. And then after that, I'm going to talk about some of the little issues we've all been having in 2018, which, um, which have been, which, you know, I just feel it needs to be spoken about, you know. Um, anyway, so first of all, let's start off with the Q&A. Well, to start off with, first of all, I just want to say that um, most of you just sort of looked at the post and just, you know, sort of sat there. And then some of you even liked the post and didn't even put any questions. Yeah, we can stop that now. Uh, but yeah, so, well, there's three questions, so let's get started. Right, well, if I can just... Ah, okay, so first of all, we have why waste money on a RC train simulator game when you could have bought Tarkov or Naval Action? Well, because... Trains! <sighs> Because, you know, um, train sim's awesome. And I mean, this particular train sim, the story behind it is it was £5, which was a complete discount, and it has multiplayer. I mean, what train simulator has multiplayer? I mean, it's just mad. I had to get it. So, you know. Uh, question number two. Why did I buy a sound class 47 instead of a chip, a DCC sound chip for my class 33 D65 away easily? Well, for starters, um, uh, you'll see, as some of you are probably not aware, that I own some DCC sound locos that basically they're remote control little model trains that go around and you press the buttons and they do sound. Um, basically, I bought uh, class 47. Well, I didn't actually buy it. Um, my mum got it for me as, a, as an early birthday present because it was there at an exhibition for £105, which is cheap as chips, for, um, for, for a DCT sound loco. And I loved it, and it sounded good. So, you know, it just it had to be done, really. It, it just had to be done. What is Killer Brands? Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the old college days, and I'm just going to, um, basically what happened was is that we used to do vlogs on, on our projects, and uh, one of mine got leaked, and it wasn't supposed to be leaked out in the public, it's all a private thing, and I used to do these silly little things to the teachers just to make them laugh every so often, and basically, um, well... Uh, some of the students found out about it, and they had they, they just laughed at it, and and um, well, basically, I'll play the clip now. Oh, oh, killer brands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's killer brands. For you. Jesus Christ! Right, so basically, what killer brands are. Um, killer brands are uh, basically uh, brands that if you go in, obviously get into your shot without permission, um, you um, you can't use that footage. You need to have permission to use that particular brand in your film slash production. So you need to get permission to use that brand, mm. and it's important to get stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so that is what a killer brand is. All right, so now after uh, our Q and A session we have just had there, um, we're going to talk about some of the things that we've had in twenty eighteen. So basically, I have had a really, really crap twenty eighteen, and 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 um, and I've noticed recently as well. It, it, some people have have popped up to me about certain problems and stuff like that, and um, and I realise that I'm not the only one who's had such a, a rubbish year, to be honest with you. Um, and I really do, I really do feel for you. Um, and uh, basically, I started off uh, well to 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 be honest with you to 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 kind of um, start off the year. Let's say right at the end of twenty seventeen, I lost a very good friend of mine. Um, in uh, he's he was he was my best mate in primary school, and um, unfortunately, he is no longer in the world anymore, which is is really tough um, to start the year off. Um, and then um, after that, I was diagnosed with a uh, serious eye condition called keratoconus, which is um, you struggle 
it's basically it's like a warped lens so basically our camera lens it keeps turning and twisting so your eyesight's getting worse and worse and eventually I would have gone blind if I didn't have an operation and these operations were horrendous let's just say that it was 12 hours of everlasting pain for me in the evening basically after the operation was done yeah the operation it didn't hurt at all I was awake for it bear in mind so it was scary as as anything and uh, so I was awake for it and uh, the evening when you get back it is just absolutely horrendous pain like it's just oh, I'm screaming all night for 12 hours and that was twice I had to have that done and then um, later on in the year um, this is what really did uh, tear me down um, uh, my fiance left me, who I thought the world of, and um, I really adored her. And um, yeah, so she sort of, how should I put it, threw me out. Um, and um, after that, um, I lost another friend, uh, a college friend who I used to, you know, uh, have um, have good contact with and I lost him and um, yeah so it's been a, a really really tough year and I can I can feel for you and, um, and what you need to understand is um, is is that you're not alone um, and you know I, I care about people to be honest and I know what you're gonna say I know what you're gonna say because I, I, I'm I, I am sympathetic. I, I have sympathy for people and I care about people because I think we all have a purpose in life. We all have something for the world. You know, we all we all we all have a purpose. We all we all have something to give the world. And you need to realize that you're talented, right? That you stick to that and you do that because you must be. You know, you're the winner. Okay. Now. For those of you who don't have sympathy for people who have who have problems and are upset, who just don't give a toss or give a shit about anyone, you're a prick. Okay? Simple as, okay? That's just that is just the way it is. Okay? That that's it. That's it. That's that, that's that's it then. That that is literally the way it is, okay? So basically, um you know, and what irritates me the most and I've seen it in 2018 what irritates me the most is there is so much hate and and there's so much garbage going around in this world now this this day and age is sick I tell you it really is and you know I've seen people like you know people have been messaging me about you know certain problems and stuff like that you know how 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 some people treat people is just it's despicable it is actually disgusting and 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 you know i i mean i understand you know and, and this is it you know what what people need to understand is you know to to have peace in the world you know to to, to for pe you know people like me who have sympathy right there needs to be more of that right there needs to be more of that because if there was none of this messing about not giving a crap about people if people are upset you know you know, people have issues, they have issues with depression, anxiety, all this lot, and, and they really, really struggle, and I feel for you, I know exactly how you feel, and if you ever need anything, just pop us a message, you know, say hello, you know, I'm I'm around sometimes, you know, I'm, you know, I care about people, you know, I'm, I'm here, you know, it's so, <laughs> I've had a tough old year as well, I understand, I understand absolutely everything, and, 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 you know, the thing is, if people didn't hate and actually gave a crap about people and had some sort of sympathy or you know or and and didn't just not care we would never have any issues never well you think we think that the world would be a so much better place if there was none of this hate and you know and and this stupid nonsense immaturity and you know, ridiculous, horrible behaviour towards people. No, I mean, I've had some friends recently, um, who, well, who have had really bad issues with people, and you know, and 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 it isn't nice. Okay, so, and you know, the way I see it is, we all we're all our own person, um, and the good guys, the good guys win. Okay, the good good people win. Bad people, they get what they deserve. Right?
okay? So you're not alone. And, you know, if you ever have any issues, just give us a message or whatever. That's, you know, that's, that's, all, that's all I can say. This year has been bad for a lot of us. And it's been a bit of a curse, to be honest. And, um, and it's literally been the worst year of my life. I'm still trying to find myself. You know, I'm not, I'm not myself. I haven't been myself for a long while. Um, I think I'm just, I don't know, I think maybe I'm just about getting there, but, but, you know, in the end, stuff does get better, I'm sure, eventually, well, I think, I'm pretty sure, you know, we've all got to be there for each other, the people who care, you know, the people who have sympathy, you know, we've all got to be there for each other, and keep your loved ones close, keep them close, don't, don't push them away, you got to keep them close, the people who really care about you, don't throw them away. And that's all I have to say. And yeah, have a good evening.